Right, thanks to everyone that's tuned into our YouTube channel, Cape Coral Cell Phone Repair. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. So today we're going to take the Apple screen separator machine and answer two questions. One, how does it exactly work? And two, how hot does the actual mold get? So we got the three sides here, and then the back side is in there. Actually, it's, you see this gold plate there? So that'll heat up all four sides of the phone. So how do these things actually get hot? Because they give you one for the regular size phone, like the 12 and the 13. Then they give you another one for the 12 and 13 Pro Max, which is this one. And then they give you a smaller one for the Mini. So you got three of them so far. So how do they get hot? Well, if you see here, you have four contacts. And if you look back there, you have four contacts. So the way it gets hot is this channel here slides into here. This has to be down, clamped. And as it slides in, the four contacts here will make contact back there, like so. So the next question is, how hot does it actually get on the sides? Meaning, what is the actual temperature that Apple is designing on these plates to successfully open up the screens? Because we have done it over and over again using this machine, and it's worked perfectly fine. Screens come up. What I like about it is you adjust it yourself. So when the, when the phone actually gets hot, you are the one that's controlling it. There are other machines that are out there that will do this automatically, but sometimes when a machine is doing it automatically, that might not be the real life scenario. I like to see what's going on and then adjust accordingly, not have a machine do it for you. So that being said, let's see what temperature we're gonna get on all four sides. And I was thinking about how to best do it. And we use our laser thermometer for a lot of things but a laser thermometer is only going to give you a certain temperature from the distance. It'll, it'll get pretty close, but the best way to get it is using the same laser thermometer. There are two connections on this model here, right there. And then we have this wire, which is a thermal couple, thermal coupling, and then we'll just connect it there. And then on the end, we have this little wire that we are going to basically tape there. And we're going to use our heat resistant tape to hold it in there and see what is the actual temperature we're going to get. Okay, we have the wire right in there and we have our tape there. So the wire is kind of wedged in between the phone and the metal plate. And actually, I got to turn off that phone before we put it in there and turn on the machine. But you can see that we have our setting on our thermometer to probe, and that's what this is. It's the probe and the wire. So let's go ahead, turn off the phone and get the machine running. All right, our machine is ready. We got our check mark. We turned it on, wait about 30 seconds till it starts to warm up and we can slide our phone in there. And we're gonna hear a click. There we go. So now it's going to work its way up. It's already starting to heat up. So it's going to raise the temperature. And once we get to the very top, we're going to check with our thermometer and see where we're at. Right now it's at 83 degrees on the probe, 85, 86. And I'm going to put it here side by side so you can see where it is in relationship to the little thermometer that we're showing on the machine. So right now we're at 102, 103. So this is about as accurate as you can get, folks. So I'm going to 
gotta take a guess, it'll be about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it starts beeping, we'll see. There we go. So we're about 166 degrees right now. So folks, we're gonna go ahead and get started on working on this. In the meantime, we just wanted to let you know if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button below. But wanted to answer two questions on how the machine actually works, how do the jigs work, and how hot it gets. So until next time, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.